What is up everybody, welcome back to episode on the Ice Pack YouTube channel. I am Cal. Today we are back in Space and we're reviewing the B-17. Uh, this is a creation from the Steam Workshop created by Aragath. Uh, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. If not, please tell me in the comments. And, um, this is a modded vehicle, as you can probably see by the wings and the turrets. Um, if we quickly hop into our F10 menu and look up the B7 B17 it is a four, uh, 4,235 block and there are seven turrets four bombs and it can crew up to actually eight people so you can definitely play with your friends on this but it does require decorative blocks number two I'm not a hundred percent sure where that was uh, is actually this the invisible LCD. Uh, you do not uh, need these, but you do need all the mods required, or else this probably thing won't fly. And, um, let's start by going around the outside. We, uh, we have the very iconic glass nose on this B-17. Uh, I do like the shape of it. It's very, very nice. And then, below that, we have the first of six, seven turrets, seven turrets, and going around here, we have another thing of glass and the ring. There are two propellers, two engines per side. And I do like how he even uh, grinded it up and made it look like it's been a, it's an old abused war bomber. Continuing around the side, it's pretty flat, a nice circular, with a little bit of a viewing window for the navigator. And going around, it starts getting a little thinner, and then we have our waste gunner. And continues going until we have our tail with the uh, plane mod blocks that allow this thing to fly and then down here we have our just vanilla wheels uh, they cannot retract sadly and then in the way back here we have our tail gunner this is this is the one little spot they have and um, up there we got our rudder elevators and uh, the tips at the edge of those wings are the ailerons here we have our entrance and exit. It does not close, sadly. But, um, if we quickly hop above, we have our upper waist gunner. I'm not 100% sure of the name of it. And then we have the first of two ballot turrets. And then just the nice cockpit where the pilot and. Wait, no, pilot and co pilot sit. Uh, let me just spin myself around here. And then going underneath. We have, um, just, there's not a ton of detailing down here, just the bomb bay doors, wheels, and then, uh, the, uh, under ball turret, the belly ball turret, I believe is the name? I'm not 100% sure, but, um, yes, it's a nice turret. And that is about it, so, taking control of me, character let us just quickly hop inside i will show you all the turrets and and there you can definitely see the name press the tab number one this is the tail ta yeah it's the tail gunner uh number two will 50 cals our favorite favorite gun on the planet sadly when you do get out of that it does spawn you back outside same with the upper ball turret and i maybe the lower ball turret i'm not sure and then these take control of the waste gunners. You have a nice range up and down. Actually, not down, just up and side to side. Uh, it's mirrored on the other side as well. Then moving forward, right here we have our ball turret on the bottom. Very nice, very secretive. Oh, it's on the outside this time. Well, taking jetpack, spinning it around, trying to fit up in here. We can walk forward a bit. Here we have the navigator, or at least that's what it would be. And this is called the skylight, I guess? I'm not quite sure about that. At least how, I'm pretty sure it wasn't called that in the actual bomber terms. He takes control of that turret. And then here we have um, four or five hundred pound bombs. Those are the bomb bay doors you saw underneath. Co-pilot pilot will hop into those seats in a second. Up here we have our uh, top turret, top ball turret. Nice, simple range. Really, just get all your enemies. 
BF 109s if you do want to do a full on World War II bombers take out a city full on thing. You can definitely do this with all of your friends. And then up here we have a little storage with med bays and more ammunition. Most seats have this. And then number 9 is the button to drop the bombs. We will not do that yet. But here we have more 50 cals. And this is the ball turret on the front. And walking around here we have some nice steps and ringing. Here we have co-pilot seat. There's really nothing there. Maybe you could have that one have whatever. And then press G. We have... I'm not sure what this is. I'm just not... I'm, honestly, I'm not sure what that is, but... Um, pressing 1 and P because you can't take off with your parking brake on. We, if I press Alt, you can see our both of our all of our propellers. I'm gonna fly this in first person simply because I'm a huge fan of this plane. But um, taking off, you need to go about 70 meters, a 65 to 70 meters a second. And I'm just gonna press V for this to get a nice view. Uh, sadly, you can't retract the uh, wheels, but pressing 3 to drop the bombs, we have those nice 400 pound bombs to drop, and they take a while to drop, surprisingly, but it's pretty accurate, and you have nice four inline things. Quickly, right, the, it automatically closes well, part of the timer, I guess. You spin this around, definitely not accurate to World War II, but um, I do like the smoke trails outside. It shows that it's leaking oil, which is not what you want in World War II ever, because that means you're going down, and Germans would probably doing be doing that, or it's the afterburner, it might be the afterburner. I'm sorry, I don't know planes that well. Um, but I'm going to try to land this. So pressing one, because uh, there, I'm afraid there aren't. This creator did not add any air brakes. So the way I've been landing it, because I've been testing this a few times, is bringing it nice and close to the ground, just turning off the engines and gliding in, and then pressing P to turn on my parking brake. So when I land, the wheels try to stop me. And then just trying to land it as nice as possible. We'll even do this in first person. It will try to take off again, but as you can see, it slows down uh, very fast. But, um, thank you all so much for watching this wonderful thing. And, um, the link to this will be down in the description below. Uh, in the Steam Workshop page, it should have everything you need to know. And, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Go.